you come out here and you see native plants and native trees in their natural environment, you are reminded of what Wisconsin is supposed to be about. And then as a result, an extension of what the rest of the world is supposed to be about. One of my favorite places is the Vernal Pond in the spring. It is deafening. I like holding a live animal and feeling its heartbeat and then being able to let it go. River Ridge to me is the best backyard you could ever imagine. You kind of get attached to this place, you know, it's, it's in my blood. There's so many of my favorite places at River Edge. I don't even know if I could answer that. No, I could. I'd be like, by the oven bird. River Edge is a place that you explore the natural world. River Edge is a place that you get your feet dirty, your hands dirty, you catch frogs and bugs, you walk on the trails barefoot. River Edge is a place not only physically you can have a lot of fun, but uh, where you set your mind free. Stepping outside after a day in the office, sometimes you can be stressed or, you know, just kind of tired. And I instantly step outside and I'm instantly refreshed and ready to go, just wandering down the trails. Um, I just feel very blessed and knowing that I have good friends all over the United States because of River Edge. The beautiful thing about River Edge is that growing wild means something different to everybody and what growing wild is to them. Well, I was wild in a way. I couldn't be in the house. I'd have to be out collecting butterflies and we had forts out in the woods. I've always been wild, but River Edge has allowed me to keep being wild, I think. My name is Caroline Mosley and I'm a River Edge kid. My name is Matt Gabry, and I am the Marketing and Communications Manager. My name is Alan Shurko. I'm, uh, during the day, a computer consultant and do this bird banding kind of as a hobby and avocation. Uh, I'm Don Gilmore, and uh, I guess the best way to describe my job is I get to do what nobody else wants to do. <laughs> my name is Pam Eline, and I work here at River Edge as a seasonal naturalist. My name is Jana Veal, um, and I am a PhD student at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. I study bird breeding phenology. Hi, I'm Lynn Bergschultz, and I'm an artist. My name, <laughs> my name is Jessica Jens. I'm the executive director of River Edge Nature Center. In 1965, the seed that would become River Edge was planted. That was when a group of visionary women in the Whitefish Bay Garden Club first had the dream of a place where all residents of metropolitan Milwaukee could experience and be transformed by the natural world and where a piece of wild Wisconsin could be established and preserved for generations to come. In 1968, that forward thinking and audacious seed first sprouted when early supporters, volunteers, and donors came together to raise the funds and purchase the land that would officially become River Edge, the first nature center in southeastern Wisconsin. The Whitefish Bay Women's Garden Club had a really wonderful idea. They wanted their kids in Whitefish Bay to experience real country. And that's why this land was bought. 1969, I was hired. The first thing mom and I had to do was to find a place to put our tent up. Well, the property was very small. It was 72 acres along the river. The office was in our basement at the townhouse. I was the volunteer secretary. And dad wrote the educational programs and we ran them off on the mimeograph. And that was it. It was like Camelot. You come here and it was like you were in this bubble away from the, the real world. People were genuinely friendly. We were all interested in, in nature and preserving the environment. It was all a dream as to what things could be. And it was my pleasure when people would say, where's River Edge? I'd say out here. How many jobs have you had in your adult life? One. 
<laughs> and what was that? You guys hear the director of Rivera at this time? Did you ever want another job? No, I had two good chasing frogs and butterflies out here. The name River Edge and Andy Larson were synonymous. Uh, it was it was his empire, if you will. Well, as everybody who took Andy's class, he changed my life. I mean, my view of how the world works came from Andy. He's there with me every day, whether he's alive or not anymore. And we were very close friends, too. He was an incredibly knowledgeable person. He knew this land and everything that was on it. He was a person who didn't like to give you the details. You know, you had to kind of figure it out for yourself. He definitely was the best teacher I have ever encountered. Because you couldn't take notes, there was no way to take notes because he just made you think and look and help you understand it. Every little kid who comes through here is benefiting from River Edge, and it wouldn't be here if it weren't for Andy's dedication and sacrifice. I don't think I thanked Andy enough for what he did for me. I think I did, but not enough. And mostly I taught people to think carefully and critically. And um, I have fun and I make too big a deal of their presence here on Earth. I'm a fun guy, Eric. <laughs> they keep me in the dark and feed me blank, blank. Yeah. <laughs> I remember talking to Charlie Mayhew, and Charlie said the core essence of River Edge is that it's always been fun. Came from Andy. I mean, he made it fun. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. I like to do fun things. River Edge has uh, this fun history, and so. I guess the crazy ideas started coming out then. We started refocusing on ensuring first and foremost that people were having a fun time uh, at our events and that uh, we could do some crazy things again. I have to say the Frothy Forage uh, Beer Festival is pretty, pretty fun. It's, it seems people are like, what, at a nature center? That, that doesn't really, what does that have to do with anything? But it's really about making getting outdoors fun so at River Edge today, we are backing up and we are first engaging them in nature and saying, hey, this is pretty cool. Like, wasn't that fun? Don't you love it? Once they love it, then they want to learn more about it. And once they learn about it, then there we are at the start of helping them to inspire a love so deep that they want to care about it. And so now I'm going to demonstrate laughing for no reason. Are you ready? <laughs> River Edge, I think, really prides itself on offering options for all ages and all interests. If you look at a calendar, we are jam-packed full of stuff to do, from field trips to school programs to Saturday family programs to special festivals throughout the year. We've also got a lot of cool clubs like Bird Club and Photo Club for adults with citizen science projects people can be involved with and lots of different events from beer festivals to bike rides to maple sugaring. There's just about anything you like. You can, you can probably find it at River Edge. Teachers, I feel really trust River Edge that when they come out here, they are going to have a solid experience that is, of course, science-based, inquiry-based. Um, we're going to ask their students to, to think and to form questions about the natural world, explore the natural world, and try to come up with some answers. How can a nature center contribute positively to the community around it? in the most effective way, and that's what we're working towards. But instead of just going into schools and doing outreach programs about nature, we embed a scientist in residence in school districts uh, in which we can find philanthropic partners to help make that possible. 
so that we are not just teaching programs and it's a one and done or it's a quick fix. It's about promoting and inspiring systemic change in our education systems. So when you read about a river in a book, you read about a river in a book. When you come out here after you've taught, listen, rivers are tributaries to larger bodies of water. What we put in the ground and the earth around them gets into that river and flows into something bigger. We're probably drinking and swimming in that, and we gotta be careful about it. The inquiry-based education that Andy started so many years ago was on the cutting edge. I mean, that inspired so much of the work that's going on in the entire field of environmental education today. And so being a leader, being innovating in such a way is what we continue to strive to do. One of our banding projects at River Edge is called the MAPS Project, which stands for Monitoring Avian Productivity and Survivorship. And we're running that station at River Edge since 99. There are 500 or so stations around the U.S. and Canada that are doing the same project so that all the data can be combined. Research has always been an important part of River Edge. And being able to use this land, to uh, know this land, but then have that contribute to a larger body of work, I think has always been fundamental to River Edge, and so it's something that we're proud to continue today. Sometimes folks think that it's just about this 379 acres, when really this land is the laboratory, right? Like this land is meant to be the catalyst for further inspiration throughout the region and the state and nationally, and, and that is our intent with the research here today. I think the staff here truly believe in what we're doing here as an organization and they want to be a part of connecting people to the great outdoors. This is what they want to be doing, whether it's for work or for hobby or passion, you know, they want to be connecting people to the natural world and I think that shows through our, our programs and events that they, they help organize. River Edge is important because of the community that it is creating and has created. While the birds have changed and the land has changed and the people have changed, what isn't changing is being at River Edge to do this So I think that's very important. Lots of people who are no longer members of River Edge don't even live around here anymore. I mean, I'm still in contact with them. These are still my close friends and it's because I think we're kindred spirits. We connect with the natural world. So River Edge is expanding outward through these programs that go into the communities but are inspiring the change that we have seen and practiced so much at River Edge. The staff and the volunteers who are out there leading these programs have all been significantly transformed and influenced because of their experiences here. Now they're taking that experience and they're going into the schools, they're taking that experience and they're going into the communities, they're taking that experience and going back to their colleges and universities because of the time that's here. And as we know, that's the ripple effect. I first came to River Edge uh, the summer after third grade as a camper. It taught me how to be curious about the natural world and that that stuck almost like no other childhood experience. And when I came back to Wisconsin, I came out here to River Edge and there were openings for naturalist positions and it was a perfect fit. So it was a very full circle uh, for me personally, and it's been incredibly rewarding. Now as I'm a little bit older, a lot of my effort with bird banding is passing it on to other people. So just as Andy trained me, I'm now involved with training a fairly large group of people and passing that on, and paying it forward. Then the next thing you know, they're out here, and they're bringing other people out here, and they're enjoying you know, these seeds that were planted here 50 years ago and not really recognizing the work that went into it, but then paying forward the effort through their commitment to membership. I've talked to some of those founders and they told me that people were looking at them crazy. Like, why? Why would we need to protect land? We have so much of it. And so today it's so important for us to continue that work, but it's about sharing the incredible experience of being in nature. That's why I say that the work of River Edge is only getting more and more important. We just want to ensure that there are as many people as possible get here for the trails, the education, the opportunities, and 
can be inspired like I was to have an impact upon the future. We're building a charter school here that's public school, uh, access for any kid, doesn't matter their socioeconomics, doesn't matter their demographics, doesn't matter their story. They get to come here and seed like the acorns that have fallen from the oaks for years here. I would challenge that the next 50 years aren't so important for River Edge. I would challenge that the next you know, 150 years are important for River Edge and the 150 years after that. Every year that we go forward is critically important for River Edge. Our board and the members have uh, always stayed true to the original mission and vision of the founders. And when we make decisions about the future, we take all of that into consideration. And one of the things we want to do is we just want to ensure that there are as many people as possible get here for the trails, the education, the opportunities, and can be inspired like I was to have an impact upon the future. What does it mean to grow wild? Just continuing that growth and keeping people interested and passionate about nature. The more that people know, the more passionate they become and more interested they become. And the more they care about our natural world. It's really about having a beautiful place to walk and enjoy. It's about bringing people out here. I swing in the trees, right? I climb the ropes. I don't know. I, I love the fact, I have pictures of my kids, um, both of them on their first week of Trailblazers summer camp with mud all over their face. And I guess when I think of the start of something wild, I think of that. But I also just think of the audaciousness of what we're trying to do here. And that's pretty wild as well. What's your message for everybody who's watching this video? Get out and touch the earth once a day so you can check its heartbeat and make sure it's still healthy or not. My name is Eric Larson and I am a River Edge Kid.